Joining me now in studio is Jonathan El Khoury, a public diplomacy advisor and LGBTQ plus activist. Thank you so very much for being here with me. You were born in southern Lebanon, you were telling me just prior to, to us going live on air. Your father um, also served in the South Lebanese army, um, which collaborated with Israel once upon a time, which is hard to imagine now. But I'd like to ask you two parts of, of a question. The first being how the Lebanese public currently views what's happening in Israel versus how the Lebanese public feels toward their own government and Hezbollah that takes a huge part of Lebanese social, economic and political life. Yeah, well, these, these are uh, uh, fantastic questions, but I think that I, I wanted to elaborate a little bit more. You mentioned that I'm part of the South Lebanon Army community that came here, that worked alongside with the IDF from 1982, even a little bit prior to that, till May 2000. And the reason for that is because a lot of the South Lebanon Army and a lot of Lebanese also, not only from the Christian communities, but also from Muslim and Druze communities, that saw that the Palestinian terrorism is taking control over our villages. And we've seen that only if we will uh, collaborate and make sure that the minorities in the Middle East will protect each other, that's the only way that we have to survive. Because during the 70s and during the 80s, during the Lebanese Civil War, the Palestinian terrorism that were run by the PLO and Yasser Arafat, they have done the same thing that now we're seeing uh, Hamas doing in the south of Israel, from the Gaza Strip, butchering, slaughtering people, burning people alive. This is something that we've, we've experienced uh, since the 70s and th since the 80s. And I think that today our main goal, and I think this is how also a lot of Lebanese people seeing it, is that uh, they, they, they don't see themselves part of uh, going and joining the war against Israel um, because they know that at the end of the day, uh, this terrorism that happened to Israel will lead eventually to happen in Lebanon. And we can see that uh, Hamas and Hezbollah and ISIS, they're all the same faces to, to this, to, they're all different faces to the same coin. And a lot of the Lebanese people are seeing that. We have seen in the last week uh, a lot of uh, uh, online petitions that are calling for uh, Lebanese politicians not to join or to force Hezbollah not to join the war against Israel because they know that eventually it will lead to the destruction of Lebanon. And many of the Lebanese today know that suffering from this economic uh, crisis that we're having in the last five years, suffering from uh, um, wrongdoing and a lot of corruption in the government, um, joining a war will eventually uh, bring Lebanon to its knees. And as we're sitting here, I'm looking at your necklace and it's just, you are a Christian, you are an Israeli, you speak Arabic, you are literally the walking, breathing definition of, of multiculturalism, of coexistence in Israel. I believe that you are, as an activist, trying to engage the uh, both the Muslim and the Christian community in Israel. What exactly are you engaging with here in terms of trying to advocate on behalf of Israel? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, I am Israeli, I'm Christian, I'm Lebanese, I'm part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and I support Israel. This is something that is, is super crucial uh, for the message that I say out loud. And and putting the necklace on is is not only uh, being supportive and not only being you know showing my identity to the world, but also saying to the Jewish people that we're here for you, we're here to support you, and to say to the Israeli people as well that we will do everything in our power in order to carry the message outside to the world. And this is what I've been doing in the last, I can say, almost 10 years, but uh, in particularly uh, since uh, uh, the catastrophe of uh, October 7th, I've been doing it in Arabic. Uh, to the uh, Christian and to the Arab world outside of Israel that needs to understand that what happened uh, by Hamas terrorist organization is something that is against humanity, uh, something that is is unimaginable. And I think one of, of our uh, male issue, our main issues today is that a lot of uh, the what's uh, called the progressive movement in the world, uh, they don't see Israel uh, in its multicultural. They don't see Israel in its uh, diversity. They don't see Israel in its all of uh, of our, uh, you know, um, 
mosaic of people that we're having here and a lot of uh, you know we have also disagreements on a lot of things they don't see that mm -hmm. and what we, what Israel has been through is that we went through uh, the uh, legitimization of Israel and what the Israelis have been through is that we've been through dehumanization and if if I will be honest with you I don't know if we should uh, persuade this uh, view of you know trying to to bring people to our side and being pro-Israeli because you don't have to be pro-Israeli in order to go against uh, uh, these savages, uh, the Hamas terrorist organization and what they did. You don't have to be Zionist in order to go against it. You just need to be a human being. And we need to remind the world um, that we are humans, that it is Israelis, because Hamas didn't, uh, uh, Hamas didn't, um, you know, question who's Jewish and who's not. They just killed everyone that came in their way. And this is something that needs to be told. This is something that the world needs to understand. I see a lot of people ripping off uh, pictures of kidnapped babies um, and, and kidnapped women and kidnapped elderly. And this is something that, um, you know, I, I can't imagine on what's going on is that they stopped seeing us as humans and we need to bring that back again. Jonathan El Khoury, thank you so very much for being with me here in studio to share that. And thank you for your incredible work that you do of, of reminding the world that this is about human beings and nothing more. Yeah, and this is what, what we're doing. Uh, in a few days, uh, I'm flying with a delegation from Diplo Act in order to just speak about the stories of the people who were kidnapped and the people who were murdered by this uh, uh, atrocities that Hamas did in south of Israel. It's, it's a big task to take on and someone has to do it. And I thank you so much for, for rising to the occasion to be able to do it. And thank you for coming to studio today. Thank you very much.